Aloha, I'm Reverend Cindy Paulos, and I wanted to talk about oneness. I had a wonderful meditation on oneness this morning. And in that meditation, it was so easy to look from a higher perspective, from the soul's point of view, of how we are all one on this planet, one energy field, one part of one light that is from the source of all light. And with that, of course, that part of the creation that is founded in unconditional love, which you're all part of. Now, the interesting part about this is when we, as Carl Jung said, uh, have this individuation situation to experience life with free will, then in that experience, we're seeing things from just a singular individual point of view, often colored through the ego, which separates us and divides us. And that's for our own learning process so that we can experience and see things and learn things with our karmic implications as well. But it's so important to realize that every breath we take is a breath of spirit. And in that every breath, you have a breath in of spirit being inspired. And when you hold it, you pause. And for a moment, you are in that place in between breaths where you're joined as one with all energy and then you breathe out and you let it out and each breath reminds us in so many ways about inspiration about the pause between breaths similar to the time when we don't have a breath when we leave our individual self behind and we move into the light body in spirit, where we're able to see without the body and the ego that we are all one, that we're part of this light field, this energy field that just takes a body for a while and learns and experiences this precious gift of life. But if we don't remember our time in between, our pause or our sleep time and our time where we go beyond this separation, then we begin to only identify with being separate. And we can understand easily where this could cause divisions, especially now more than ever. I think this may have to do with media. It may have to do with social interaction online. Um, we see a lot of different points of view when we're online and we're in our social media. And at the same time, we can certainly, if we objectively look at all the different points of view in social media, see, you know, what is happening, what people are interesting, interested in. And um, often it can be an interesting rabbit hole to only divide us further if we allow that to be our core belief. So we can, in meditation, set our true inner awareness of our oneness. And it's so easy from that point of view to remember to pause, to remember the unconditional love, to remember our source, to remember and be aware of our soul. And it's not a hard jump from there to go ahead and be connected to the world consciousness, the collective consciousness, the universal consciousness, where we again can remember that we are all one. And in that state of oneness, joined in unity together, 
we can let go of the ego, we can let go of the separation, and we can see how there really is a harmony in everything if we can be in tune with our unity in the universe. I wrote a poem this morning about it, and I'd like to read it to you if that's okay. <laughs> you don't have a choice if you're listening, do you? I guess you could turn it off. <laughs> Uh, it says, I am one with God's love. In that love joined as one. I am one with the energy of the universe. In that sacred verse of energy, I am that I am. In that oneness, we build bridges over the separation we perceive. What we see as division in oneness is seen as unity. I am one with the stars. I am one with the sea. I am one with all life and the endless blessings I receive in being. I am one with God's presence I am the presence created here in spirit as form. I am so, so grateful for this great source, the resource of that eternal force of love that unites me in oneness with love. And Yes, there is that wonderful word love, which kind of, when I say it, thinks and rhymes with one. We are one love. We are one in love. With love, we can bridge the divisions and the separation. In love, we recognize love. In love, we understand that we are here and have a purpose to fulfill in life. And if we use the tool of love, we are joined in an energy that overcomes the darkness, that overcomes the fear. Love is the opposite of fear. And love is so important in this day, in this time, in this age. And the challenges that we face, if we go and return to that love in which we're one, we will be able to find and be in tune with our true purpose in life. Let's take a moment to pause and to go inside in meditation and to join in that oneness where we are in harmony with all life. Get comfortable and take some deep breaths and relax and let go of any tensions that may be there in any part of your body that you may be holding on to, any stress. And let yourself turn inside and Allow anything in distractions or anything in the outer to just be released for now in this one moment of oneness. Breathing that oneness in, holding and pausing that breath and releasing and allowing that energy to just flow out Breathing that oneness in and feeling the light of oneness in that pause. And breathe it out and now allow that light of the one light and the one love to surround your body and to extend out, 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 out over 12 feet, out, over, over, over the entire area of the house or place where you're living. 
surrounding your entire space with love and light, 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 a white light above you, coming down and through you and out onto the earth rooted there, a light forming across your horizontal energy field, way, way out on the left side and the right side, a light way in front of you and way behind you until you are encircled in this wonderful light that merges with all of the light in your entire area. Breathe that wonderful light in and feel one with that light, that healing energy of a gold surrounds that light. Breathe that energy in and feel it cleansing all of your mind, letting go of any separate ideas and letting go of any ideas that divide you with others. And breathe into that place that is that special space within your soul's light. And allow yourself to be here now in the light of your soul. Breathing in that light and being that light, becoming that light of love. Let that light heal any part of you that needs healing right now. Let it bathe you in that love that is the one source of unconditional love, healing you, completing you, joining you in harmony and unity with the entire world. Feel the peace of oneness. Feel the love of oneness. Feel the entire universe as all part of that one energy that we are. Every atom has the same source of energy. Calling that energy in, releasing that energy. Ah, let yourself be renewed with this one light of perfect love. Ah, let go of anything that may block the love in your heart. And if you need to forgive, in this oneness realize that the other person that may have been the person you need to forgive is yourself in oneness projected out to give you a lesson that you need to learn and be grateful and allow yourself right now to forgive anything that separated you from that other person and send that other person the light of love in oneness And now allow yourself to unite with the source of all source of light and oneness. Go to that source of unconditional love and allow yourself to feel that love that you are in oneness. Breathe it in. Absorb it. Breathe it out and allow it to fill all of your body with a wonderful energy, realizing the word wonderful is one. <laughs> we are one, my dear friend. And now in that oneness and the awareness of that oneness, come back slowly into your entire mind, body, spirit, Joined together in oneness and whole and complete. Renewed and restored and revitalized. And redeemed in oneness. I send you my deepest love and light and gratitude for being here in oneness with me.